Hello, welcome to the Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal, aka the Dark Magician. Please come in and have a seat. Today, I just wanted to touch on a part of a live that I saw on Mandy C's channel a couple of days ago. It was a very long live, about six-ish hours, I believe, and they discussed a lot of topics. And one of the topics they discussed was something that was going on in the old Michael Long community. Uh, there were several players and some of the dramas and some of the issues, but I wanted to focus on, you know, a conversation between, uh, I want to say, with Astro Bartender and Penguin, and it was, to me, overall, it was a good conversation. You know, there was good dialogue, you know, there was good conversation as both ladies did let the other speak. You know, sometimes they did have to cut each other off just so they could finish, but that's okay. You know, it happens sometimes to where when someone takes a breath in the in the sentence, you think they're finished and you start talking, but they're not quite finished with their point. So overall, I did think it went well. You know, Mandy did a great job with uh, moderating. You know, she really stood a neutral ground. If she uh, resonated with one person, she said so and she said why. And it was a it, the conversation just went well. I was very impressed that this happened. More of these conversations need to happen and need to happen in this form. So kudos to everyone involved. Now, one the, the topic I want to discuss is friendship and accountability. So I pose the question to you, is it our job to hold our friends accountable for their actions, especially actions they you may not have known about or been around about before? So there's, there seems to have been some issues where Astro Bartender's friends were having conflict with Penguin. And Astro Bartender's point was, well, yes, they're my friends, but I was not around for these issues. So this seemed to be the main bone of contention. So it was a lot back and forth. Penguin was like, well, these are your friends. And Astro Bartender says, well, Yes, they're my friends, but how can I be held accountable for their actions when I wasn't around? And Mandy C ag agreed because you can't police your friends, you know, and their actions, especially if you weren't there. Now, if you're around, I think it's a little bit of a different story, but AYB did say, she's like, you know, I don't agree with everything my friends do or say. That's just not the case but you don't know the conversations that we have behind the scenes. You don't know what I tell them. And I can agree with that. You know, there have been times here and there when like, I see some of my friends do things I don't really agree with, or they may say something I don't agree with. Now, as my friend, I do not break them out in public. because I think that's, that's wrong. If you're a real friend, you take them aside. You're like, hey, I saw this happen, or I heard this. Can you explain it to me? And then I feel you have the conversation with them and let them know how you feel and then go from there. There have been times where they've explained the situation. I was like, mm, no, I still disagree. Or there'll be times where their explanation with giving context it will make me feel like, oh, okay, I see why. Now, I will say this, it is never a good time to go real life. You should never go real life on people. Everything should be, you know, any issue should be kept to YouTube because that's the platform we're on. There is no reason to go out and like, you know, really call law enforcement or CPS unless you actually see with your own eyes that there's um, an issue at hand. You know, if you don't see it, don't speak on it because what you do, if it turns out to be a false call, you've taken away resources from people who can actually need it. So that being said, I'm gonna go back to the conversation. So, you know, I agree with Ask the Bartender, like, you know, you don't know what you, people would sit behind the scenes. But Penguin did make a good point um, when she brought up, you know, when you're on panels with people. So here's a tricky thing with panels, whether it be your own or someone else's. So I'll take the first scenario as being on your own panel. Like, you know, if you do an open panel, drop the link, you know, you guys are talking, it can go left in so many ways because the conversation can go so many ways because most panels I've seen that are open or generally just open for any kind of dialogue, any kind of conversation. So, you know, you never know what someone's going to get up there and say. And it's like, oh, no. I mean, I've seen quite a few open panels go right, left, and sideways, and it's not a good look always. 
And as a channel owner, while you may not agree with what's being said, people will hold you accountable because it's your, you know, it's your channel. And this is why I think it's a great thing that a lot of channel, you know, owners slash creators are scrolling, like, you know, all, you know, the opinions of others may not reflect my own. And I think that's a good thing to say, you know, because if you don't, and you keep having panel after panel after panel of something um, being said that may offend a group of people, you'll spend the bulk of your time apologizing <laughs> at the end of your video. So I think that's a good thing to have that scrolling. Because as a channel uh, creator myself, channel owner, you know, I do tend to feel like if it's on my panel, I do bear some of the responsibility even if I didn't know that, but that's just my own personal thought process. But I do understand where your bartender is coming from in the situation. I also understand where Penguin's coming in the situation because with Penguin is like, you know, it's your channel. So you do bear some responsibility. And then I also see the side of at your bar, ask your bartender, where it's like, well, I can't be responsible for things people say, especially when I don't agree with them. So I can definitely see both sides evenly. And I definitely see how they got to their thought process. Their, their, I, I can see the thought process basically. So I get it on both sides. Now, when you go on other people's channel, you know what, you kind of have to be a little bit more careful because you have no control, you know, over with, you know, the conversation. Now, if you're going into a panel where it's a specific topic and, you know, you it may be a touch controversial and the people on panel may be very outspoken in their opinions and are kind of blunt, you may want to be leery about going on panel, in my opinion, just in case, you know, they say something that may be kind of out of pocket to a lot of people and you don't really want to get caught up in that. But if, it's, if you're going to just open an open panel and you know, you know, know what the topic is or it's just can go any direction, you know, try to make sure you keep yourself out of line of fire. And in my opinion, you know, when things start to take a bad turn to where you feel uncomfortable, and this is the rule of thumb for me, if the conversation makes you uncomfortable, I would say drop off the panel, say, hey, gotta go and keep it moving. Because, you know, it, it always trust your gut in those situations. That way, no one can say like, hey, well, you were on this panel and blah, 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 blah. Because people will use that against you that just you were there. I mean, I think people use the fact that you were just in a chat that you were doing what was going on. So let alone be actual, on an actual panel. I mean, yeah, is it, do I get it? kind of sort of but it's ridiculous yes because just because you're in a chat doesn't mean you know you agree with what's said i think people in chats um uh, where things have gone left where they're in the chat disagreeing but people won't look at the fact that they're disagreeing with what's said they're only looking at the fact that why were you in this chat and when we start getting to the point where we're policing where people go that's a problem we're all adults we can go where we want and watch and support who we want no one has to agree 100% of the time. It's not going to happen. And we really need to get past that sentiment of policing where people go. That being said, at the end of the day, again, I thought the ladies like Mandy, Penguin, and Astro Parton really handled themselves well, given the emotions involved, given the circumstances involved, given, you know, the, you know, the overall, you know, arc of the story. I just thought it really went well. There wasn't too much screaming or yelling. There was good dialogue. And we really need more dialogue of this kind of nature where people can just really come together. You can you can battle your points back and forth. You can argue without like screaming and swearing and all that good stuff because you know while I don't think anything was really resolved at the end of the conversation, I do think there was more uh, there was more of an understanding. And at the end of the day, if people can't come to a resolution, understanding is all you really can ask for. That being said, abracadabra, magician, out.